Music. I'm John Barcelona, <coughs> Director of Whitman Studies and Professor of Flute, and we've had a very exciting two days uh, with Ms. Zalanti Bond. Uh, two days of master classes on orchestral excerpts, and concurrently today we had a high school <coughs> middle school competition that uh, just ended, and I think the participants of which are in here. Let's see the flute players of tomorrow. Will well, everybody that was in the competition please stand up? Hey, you'll look back and say, I was a winner. <laughs> You're all winners tonight. So, uh, if you have any pagers, cell phones, please silence them at this time. And please. Welcome the maestro himself, Monsieur Robert Langevin. <laughs>
it's very unusual that if you come to a concert hall, open up your program notes, and actually see credit given to the page turner. <laughs> but in this case, I don't mean to embarrass Catherine Thompson, but the young lady sitting to the left of our marvelous pianist, Wendy Caldwell, is the young lady who 17 months ago accosted me in the foyer area after Dr. John Barcelona premiered my fifth sonata and said, you must compose a piece for Robert Bonjouvin. And so two and a half months later, I found myself in front of the piano, looking at a blank page, white black keys, thinking, how can a good Italian boy from New York write in a French manner? <laughs> I had absolute culture shock. I really mean it. I had never composed or thought of writing in a French school, of which Robert is an exemplary proponent of that. Thank God to the nourishment of my wife, who's a flutist, and studying under Dr. John Barcelona. She provided me a series of the French repertoire to listen to and gave me the salient characters and points of the French style of playing. That, in my imagination, chose a French subject, Tonnich Lautrec, the wonderful circus prints of which our good friend Kate provided for you in color in your program notes, and I decided on four panels or four paintings to base the work on. With that in mind, uh, we're going to take ourselves into the big tent of the Moulin Rouge. I ask you to use your cognitive imagination to transport yourselves <coughs> to a time where in the first movement, you're in the banisters, bleachers looking downward, and all of a sudden the lights go down and thrust into the big tent are acrobats, diverse clowns and animals, and all this excitement as our characters introduced into this drama. At some point, they share obeisance to a central figure, our highlight, a Japanese ballet artist who gives a series of proprietary bows. And then once again, almost that incipiently, we have all of these acrobats and clowns gestate wildly and rush out of the big tent. Our circus has begun. Second movement, a lone figure on a tightrope, a lovely woman. And rather than capture her physicality, I captured her femininity. A spotlight illuminates her soul figure. She begins her choreography. At one point only is there trepidation as she may slip, but she regains her footing and ends it all so elegantly, and the spotlight diminishes. The third movement, a 250 pound clown trainer, stares at a four pound poodle. <laughs> the poodle does not want to obey the trainer. There's a state of definite diffidence and a lot of jocularity which is expressed in the music. And the fourth and final movement, a mighty muscular mustang with a lovely lady dancing side saddle, or sitting side saddle, with a series of acrobatic gestures, runs around and gallops in full circle until the, uh, until the concert is finished. With that in mind, I thank you so much, especially to the performers, Wendy Caldwell and our featured guest artist, Robert Landuval, my new friends, for taking the time, and also Dr. John Barcelona for making this all happen. Catherine Thompson, and also to you for leaving the privacy of your homes. There are so many things to do tonight on Saturday night, and you chose to be here and to enjoy the architecture of this building, the psychoacoustics of the works of, of the technicians who created the sound for you, the musicians, the schools that taught them the music, share with you to transport you with music that the only that is only unique that music can bring. Thank you so much.
Thank you.